Hi everyone, today I'm going to share with you all how to improve your FPS and performance in Elden Ring on the Steam Deck by using several free to download mods and I'll be guiding you step by step on how to achieve this as quickly as possible. And if you enjoy the content I create, please give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, comment and share this video with others. From desktop mode, come over to your web browser and we need to download the three mods that I have listed in the description starting with ERSS FG. We're going to scroll down to files. We're going to scroll down again and choose manual download, followed by slow download. Next, we need to download the anti-cheat toggler and offline launcher. Let's scroll down again to files, find toggle anti-cheat, manual download and slow download. Afterwards, come over to ER Patcher's GitHub page. We want to scroll down to Releases, and we want to grab this file here, source code zip. Download this to your downloads folder, so you should have all three of these in your downloads folder. We want to double click on ERSS FG first, click Extract, Make sure extracting into subfolder is selected and extract. Once that's done, close the window, come over to toggle anti cheat, double click, extract, make sure this is checked and extract again. Close the window. We want to do the same for erpatcher.zip. Extract. Make sure this is checked and extract. Once all three of those folders are unzipped, we can actually grab these zip files and we can delete them if you want to. Next, we want to go to our Steam library and we want to find Elden Ring. Now there's a few things we want to perform here. Click on the controller symbol and we need to map L4 to our home key. We can tap select numpad and choose home. Once that's done, press back, click the cog symbol, properties, and we need to make sure the following launch command is typed exactly as shown. Python space er hyphen patcher space hyphen v space hyphen s space hyphen u space hyphen c space double hyphen space percentage command percentage i'll leave this in the description so you can copy and paste this directly afterwards we want to click our compatibility tab and we want to assign proton experimental otherwise the mods may not work once done close the window click the cog symbol manage and browse local files to be taken to the main installation directory for Elden Ring. Double click on the game folder and we want to come back to our downloads folder. Go inside the ERSS FG folder. We want to highlight all four of these items and copy. Come back to your Elden Ring folder and we want to right click and paste all four of these items. Come back to your downloads folder, go into your anti-cheat folder and we want to grab these first four files. Don't worry about these underscore files, just grab these four files. Right click and copy. Go to your Elden Ring folder and paste all four items. And lastly, go into the ER patcher folder Grab the ER patcher file, right click and copy. Go to your Elden Ring folder and paste. So now in your Elden Ring folder, you should have the frame generation mod, the toggle anti-cheat and ER patcher. Now once all three mods are pasted into your Elden Ring directory, find toggle anti-cheat.exe. Right click and we want to add this to Steam. Now we want to go back to Steam 
and using the Steam and X button to bring up our Steam keyboard, we want to type toggle and find our toggle anti-cheat.exe. Select this, click the cog symbol, properties, compatibility, and we want to assign Proton Experimental. Close the window and add this to your favorites as you'll likely need this if you're going to use the mod in the long term. Go ahead and press play. What you'll see is a window pop-up saying anti-cheat disabled. Hold down the steam button and press OK. Now what we want to do is from desktop mode with all three mods copied, the launch command pasted correctly, press play from desktop mode. When the game launches you should see ERSS FG pop up in the top left corner. If we press L4 we can see our overlay appear. Close this for now and press continue. Now when the game loads, if you did everything correctly, you should see that your resolution is now 800p or 16 by 10. What we want to do is press start, go to system, come over to our settings, change your quality, to low, go into advanced settings and I recommend putting anti-aliasing on high and for the moment put motion blur on high as well. Press back. Now it is important that we perform this next step. On screen mode change full screen to windowed. Select yes. Now toggle the overlay with L4. Here we'll see frame generation is off and super sampling is off. Our trackpad won't be working, but if we hold down the steam button, come over to super sampling, choose FSR 3. And for frame generation, select this and choose FSR 3. We will get a dot appear next to frame generation telling us that a restart is required to apply changes. However, there is currently a bug with the mod where if we close and restart, frame generation will never activate. The way to get around this is in windowed mode, come back over to your window for the Elden Ring folder, go inside this folder here, erpatcher-tmp, and inside here we're going to see a bunch of files and go inside ERSS2. Now here we're going to see ERSSFG TOML and ERSSFG.log. We want to grab both of these files, right click and copy. Go back and back again and inside our ERSS2 folder in the game folder, right click and paste both of these. Now go back to Elden Ring and press L4 to close our window. And now we can set our windowed back to full screen, press yes and close the game and launch from gaming mode. So now you're on the main menu, press L4 and you will see that frame generation is activated after our restart. Now this will only work if you performed the TOML and log file swap to the correct folder. Now once we're in game, you can see that with frame generation enabled, our FPS has gone up much more than it was before. Now if you're ever wondering whether frame generation is working or not, we can stand next to a site of grace and see this flickering here. Now if you want to change your upscaler's quality level, just press L4 Hold the Steam button, go over to your quality level and change this from performance to quality. And you can see that our character model has just become a little bit sharper. If you want to enable HDR with the mod, come over to display in your settings, go to HDR and turn this on. Press back, now press L4 again, press the Steam button 
and come over to this toggle here for HDR and toggle this on. Now for our graphic settings, I recommend either low or medium or a mix of both. Going to high or maximum will introduce input lag as our base FPS is not high enough for frame generation to work correctly. Now there is a known issue currently with the mod which may or may not get fixed in the future. When we go to our map and we go to a different site of grace, we will see some flickering is introduced at the bottom and the tops of the screen due to our resolution changes. When we want to play Elden Ring online again, simply press play on toggleantichate.exe from gaming mode. We'll see the message that anti-cheat has been enabled and we can go ahead and press OK. This will mean that our frame generation mod will no longer work until we disable the anti-cheat again. Go back to Elden Ring's properties and for our launch command we just need to simply remove the last percentage sign to break the ER patcher and this will prevent it from working whilst we're playing online. When we want to re-enable everything just go up and press percentage and add this back in. Go back to our toggle anti-cheat, launch this and we'll see the anti-cheat has been disabled again for our mods to work. Now if you made it to the end of my video thank you so much I really appreciate it and if you enjoyed this guide please give me a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below and share this video with others and if you have any questions please drop them below and I'll try my best to help you out. You all have a wonderful day, look out for one another and I'll see you later.